Kane. 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 It's the most wonderful time of the year. I have another presentation today. I'm not like nervous at all though, because I just did one, so we won't kill it, fam. Yo guys, so I just got back from my presentation and I fucking killed it. I was so excited. Like after I got done, like I just got like around and full and it was just it was so nice. I'm going to have a chocolate chip bagel. I'm done with my yoga class. It's done. Woo. But my weightlifting class, we're actually having a dodgeball tournament against the yoga class next door today. So that shall be fun. But I asked questions on my Finsta uh, for Vlogmas just to touch on if I have a boring day of school. People ask me how I'm so happy. <laughs> like, But I find it so interesting that I got that question asked like multiple times. And like for me, I think it's all about my mindset and doing things that I love to do and doing things that are like work, but they don't feel like a job. Video editing, for example, I love to do that. I love to progress and be better at it. And same with like the gym, like I love to see results. I love to progress and actually work hard, but like I also love those two things. So working hard doesn't seem like a, a job, I guess. What also goes along with that is like your mindset and accepting who you are. Like. I'm very goofy and very out there and very like free spirit I guess you could say and it took me I don't know like a while to accept that because I thought I was like too awkward or too weird and I always thought that people were judging me for it honestly that's what makes it you like that's what makes you super unique and different like accept that and own it and have fun with it like I found myself to be so weird but own it it makes life so much more exciting to just do random things and do random challenges and just do exciting things like it makes life so much more like interesting and i find myself happiest when i'm making memories and i'm making things that last that i can look back on that's what makes me happy vlogging makes me super happy i i don't know <laughs> It just makes me so happy to document and then look back on it. And it makes me also make the most of my days. It just makes me appreciate things and actually do things that I might not be 100% up for at the moment. Like, <laughs> Just the key to being happy is doing what you love. Surround yourself with people who encourage you and love you for who you are. Do things that you love and things that are going to make you better and love those things. And if you don't love the things that are making you like successful, then do something else surround yourself with people who love you for exactly how you are at this moment and encourage your goals and everything and when opportunities present themselves take them take opportunities and just do things outside of your comfort zone that's how i stay happy and it really does just keep me on my toes just taking new experiences whatever is thrown at me like go ahead and just do it yeah i guess that's how i'm happy i don't know yeah that's I guess how I remain happier. I notice when I do these things, I am a lot happier. And when I fall into ruts and stuff, I'm not falling by the like five steps I gave you. I'm either like hanging out with the wrong people or just staying home and not taking opportunities or not working hard and or just napping <laughs> all the time. If you try those things, let me know. It helps me a ton and it makes me feel 100% myself and just very motivated and just very happy and genuinely very very happy oh the memories this song <laughs> the good old days just got done weight lifting hit a squat pr i'll try it i'll try it ready i'm not going to Good, that's easy. Good. The three eighty felt better than I thought. Yeah. Good. Oh, easy. 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 Should I go out to see Fuck no. Fuck no. Fuck no. Fuck no. Good. Awesome. Okay, what about it? You didn't go for quiet. I don't know what she's done before. Hold on. Down and up. Come on, Bob. Come on, Bob. I think that's difficult. Good. 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 Good.
Keep your chest up, shoulders back, and drive off the ground. Yeah, this is the song. I know. This is the song. I was like, what are you talking about? Come on, drive, drive, drive. Easy. We did dodgeball and it was super duper fun. We did five rounds and we lost the yoga class. What the fuck? But me and Amarant went and we went to test our squat PRs. And last week I was doing 135 for um, sets of two and then my third one I would fail. So I figured I wouldn't be like that much higher than that. But I ended up PRing on 185 on my squat, which is crazy. The first time I did it, I died and it was a failed attempt. And then my professor made me do it again before we left. And like, I barely got it back up, but I did it. And 175 was like pretty easy. I did 185, like what the hell? I now have a new fitness friend, Emirate. Most of the people in my weightlifting class are kinesiology majors. So it's like kind of like required for them to take the course. I didn't really figure any of the four girls that were in my class were really into lifting. Emirate is like, she was like, yo, do you wanna like, um, test our squat PRs and I was like hell yeah and then I was like okay like she's actually pretty serious about this and like as strong as I am and we can both like push each other because no one's seriously into lifting like I am that I know so okay so I tried something new for dinner it's chicken green beans and cream of mushroom soup and it's banging it's like green bean casserole but like with chicken and it's fantastic Your nachos done. Nachos. Um. Nice shirt, babe. It's my uh, eighth day wearing it. I think I miss you. I miss you. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> Are you wearing the hoodie I got you? Yeah. The good life to edit vlogmas and get it up and do some Christmas shopping. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Thumbs this up if you did enjoy and if you made it this far. So, peace out, homies. Great morning, vlogmas, day nine and 10, but I think today is 10, but I don't know. Look at this cream cheese problem. What? Okay, cool. Let me know if you guys dip your bagels and cream cheese because I literally ripped them in like sections and then I dipped them in cream cheese and no one I've ever seen does that and it's kind of depressing. Everyone spreads it and I can't, I can't get myself to do it. I gotta paint my nails too because this one will eat their nail polish off like and it peels off. I don't know, I did that and this one wouldn't come off so. <laughs> you rip it and then you rip this like this and then you dip it. Am I a weird human? Probably. Dip it. Y'all know I had to show my like audio kids project from the class. Here's my the caterpillar voice. We all had to be a certain animal, which makes it really funny. This seems like a very nice cave. This is nice. Maybe I'll stay here. Oh my, this cave has an echo. It makes my little voice sound big. Who is in my cave? It is I. I am the biggest and strongest. No one knew that it was me until after they're like, wait, who was the caterpillar? I was like, me. It's bad. <laughs> My favorite class ever, voiceover techniques. Yeah, it's so much fun. Yo, so I think this is the first time I got delivery all semester, which is literally like four months time. That's pretty impressive. But I'm literally like out of so much food and I didn't just want like plain chicken and all my lettuce went bad and I really want a salad. And I have like no dinner foods still. I got a chicken Caesar salad. I gave like a shit ton of chicken, so that's amazing. I like making my own stuff, but I haven't gone grocery shopping. So I don't have like lunchy dinner things. I only have like breakfasty type things. I go grocery shopping, but then winter break starts in like a week. So I don't even know if I am. I don't know, the food struggle's real. I'm about to take a nap before practice, but 
I forgot why I had salads all the time in my cuts. I literally could only eat half of my salad right now. And I haven't had a salad like this whole bulk. I don't know, maybe because it's winter? I don't know. They literally keep me so full, but I could only like eat half. <laughs> so this bulk is getting really hard. You wouldn't think like putting that much food down you is like hard. But like my body like naturally just eats like 1200 calories or something like that. I'm like almost up to like 2000 and it's really hard some days. Like some days when I'm like out to eat with Jake, it's really easy. But when I'm just like home, like I just, I'm not hungry. I don't know, it's really hard. Like sometimes you're just not hungry or not in the mood or you're already stuffed and you need to like push down calories. It's hard. Time for two brightness, I don't feel like it. <laughs> But this sports bra is from uh, Five Belair. It's five bucks. I have to wear a bra underneath it, but it's cute enough, so I don't care. Hurricanes! Candy! Canes! Hurricanes! Candy canes! Okay, uh. <laughs> That's about it. Say goodbye to my vlog. Goodbye to my vlog. Goodbye to my vlog, Miss. Yeah. Kelly, Miss. And Ramus. Ramus. <laughs> Ramus sounds like Seamus, like a Samsung like or Sam Samus. Santa. Okay. Hi, Yumi. Hey. Sarah's here. We car in Poland and we going home and freaking it's 11 11 make a wish. We got our first candy canes of the season. I lost mine. Oh, no, it's right here. <laughs> <laughs> We're so grinchy. I haven't watched a movie yet. She only watched Elf. I need to get more festive. And I need to put my Christmas lights up. Wait. Question, do you suck your candy canes or you bite them? Because I literally just bite mine right away. What do you do? I suck it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> suck it and then bite it when it gets smaller. Then <laughs> bite it at the end. Don't take our advice, kids. Just, just bite it right away. The candy cane loves it. We're parked and the door's right there. And we've been sitting in the but car. But we don't want to be, <laughs> we don't want to get out of the car into the tundra. So we're doing a technique. So I got the, I got the keys ready. I got, <laughs> I got my backpack trying not to hit your face. And so I'm literally just going to make a run for it. We're going to look crazy. We're going to be like, ah! <laughs> going to scream. Are you going to grab your camera? Yeah. You're going to forget. No, it. I'm just going to leave it in here. I'm going to let you go first. <laughs> okay, ready? One. I'm going to wait for this car to go first. One. Go. You can go with me. There's a lady now. Three, two, one, one. two. Okay. <laughs> one, two. Okay. <laughs> I gotta lock the door. Hurry. Okay, it's not as bad as I thought. It hurt my face more though. It hit, it hit me right in the face. You dropped. Did I lock my car? Ray, Ray, open the car. Open the, the drama. I can't get the number. Oh, Why? I know where we live. <laughs> Stalkers. <laughs> You're doing so it too slow. Hold out here in the tundra. We made it. We made it. There's our evil cat mittens. I'm allergic she's not to her. Evil. No, she's evil AF. She knocked over the trash can. Wait, mittens don't stay on your wall. No, she doesn't. Hello. Hi, vlog. Her name's Mittens. I like to call her gloves to make her angry. She hisses at Jake sometimes. Okay. Peace, vlog. Yeah,